Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide, and in this video we're going to talk about the OS file. First we'll have a quick look at the history of the host file, and it's important to understand that all devices on, or on a network or connected to a network need an IP address. They don't actually need a name. Now names are used by people because they're, they're easy to remember than numbers. And on early computer networks, people would simply write down the IP addresses of computers that they needed to connect to on a piece of paper and keep it on, on the desk. Now, the host file was the first attempt at creating uh, a centrally managed table of computer names and uh, IP addresses. The file could be um, distributed by a network administrator, and then it would be included on the local system on the local system by someone copying it into the local system. Uh, it's important to note, however, that the host file can be and usually is different on each system, so each each computer maintains its own uh, host file. Now, the host file performs a name to IP address mapping. It was actually the main method used on early computer networks before DNS was developed, and DNS was developed to overcome um, shortcomings in, in the host file. Now, the host file is a simple text file. You can edit it with a simple text editor like Notepad, and that's the way you actually edit it. It's important to, to know that it usually doesn't have an extension. It's not, it doesn't have a .text extension on most systems. Uh, it's just called hosts. Now, location on XP Windows 7 is located in the drivers etc. directory. Um, it's a hidden file, so you, you have to enable view hidden files to see it. Uh, in addition, on later systems on um, Vista and above, I believe, it's protected, so you need to be an administrator to save it. And there's an article there that you find useful if you want to edit the host file. It tells you how to do it uh, as an administrator. And again, on Linux systems, it's protected. It's only uh, editable by the root user, and it's stored in the etc. directory. This is an example of a host file taken from, uh, I think it's an XP machine. You can see there's only one entry in there, and that's the loopback address, 127001, and it's mapped to a name called localhost. So if you actually go to your computer and type uh, ping localhost, you'll be pinging this loopback address. There are a couple of other entries in this host file, but they're actually comped out, so they're not used, and they're just for, just for an example. So when's the host, when is the host file used? Well, when you enter a, a network name like uh, google.com into a browser bar, command line, you type w, you ping, try to ping it, then the host file may be used depending on the name resolution uh, configured on your computer. Now, generally, the host file is the first name resolution method tried on, on a computer before DNS is tried. However, it's not apparent that it's actually being used. And here I'm going to take you through an example. And we, what we're going to do is we're going to ping Google, and we're going to ping Google without a host entry, and then we're going to ping Google with a host entry. So the first time I ping Google, www.google.com, it resolves the name to an IP address, which you can see here. How it did that, I don't know. It doesn't actually tell me how it did it, but it's probably going to have used DNS. And, and I'll show you that in a minute, because I, I don't actually have a host entry. And you can see the ping worked. Now let me add an entry to the host file and here's the entry here and I'm just going to make it point to the loopback address and let's go and do the ping again and you can see here now the ping and I'm pinging Google again and this time it's resolved it to the loopback address and it's resolved it to loopback address by using the host file and again the ping worked. So present day uses, it's not really used by normal people anymore. It's if you go to most machines, it's you'll see the default entry, which is that simple loopback address, and that's all there is in in there. Now, if you are into web development or you're into um, networking, then it's incredibly useful. And I use it quite a lot when I'm working on websites. And you can what you can do with it is you can configure it so that you can actually point to a, a website on your local network and that website can be a copy of a website that's actually on the internet so you can develop websites locally and then you can 
put them out onto the internet without having to change anything because the domain name stays the same. Uh, you do have to be careful though that you are actually editing and working on the, the right website. And you can use it for test backups. Um, you can restore a website onto a local backup and you can test it locally. Very, very useful if you're a networking person or you're a web developer. A quick summary, the host file is used for name to IP address resolution. It's found on all operating systems and it's usually the first name resolution method used even though you don't actually know. If you go to the website, there's a article or tutorial on the host file that you might find useful and it also has links to other tutorials which you may find useful. If you have any comments then use the comment form below. If you liked it then use the, the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos then you can subscribe to the video channel. If you do go across the website I got a newsletter and you can subscribe to that if you if you want to. Okay until the next time bye.